Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding Miss Jamaica. What's going on? None, none. You know my day will walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. Check out our membership package for our full length interviews on YouTube and on Patreon. But as I said, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it. We're on it as Boss Talk Podcast 101. You can't miss us. Man, hey, man. Listen, man. Uh, we have people on our show a lot, but this guy right here, man, real special for Boss Talk 101. Been coming on here really ever since I started this thing up, man. We've been kicking it. Uh, it been real uh, uh, transparent, organic, all them word, the new word these niggas yes, use. Sir. <laughs> the, the new word is on, man. Uh, man, my boy Big Chief, a.k.a. Don Chief. Show you right. What's what going on, man? man? Come on, come on, man. What's up? What's good? Don't man. Don't to be explained. Man, man. everybody been Appreciate you. Appreciate Listen, you. man, that boy Mr. Servo, hey, man, that boy Say you love Don Chief, man. Man, you know, Mr. Servo <laughs> met Big Chief. Yeah, he met Big yeah, Chief. He love yeah, he Big met Chief. Big Chief, man. That's my guy, you know, because I was a fan, you know, so it kind of be crazy when you meet people that's fans or you will become fans that you already fans of. You know, them boys are already at the ball rolling. Man, that, hey, listen, man, them boys that was serious and they damn nah, people don't yeah. know. Real, real music connoisseurs, real people who listen to music. Or know the track record or how big it was when it went down right. but a lot of people don't know you know what i'm saying when you really love music you'll get it but yeah. man them boys were different when they came people nah, they pushing the hard now nah, they were the ones you know they, they they was the ones they like we grew up we was rocking we was waiting every month for a pen and picks of, you know album cover with you know in 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 one of them uh goddamn me uh, uh uh groups to drop you did yeah so, yeah you know serve on serve on was one of them ones and we locked in when he came here that katrina when they came the katrina brought them boys here Darren show in. did yeah we locked in and he 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 fucked with me the long way wow man you know i just like like man i've been i just been checking back checking out the music scene in dallas man and i ain't gonna lie to you a lot of a lot of time they'll say big extra plug but it ain't too much more even and, and and with that being said, like what is going on with the music in Dallas, man? Man, you know what? We got a little motion. You know, we got you know we got X. He might be getting the most rich, but you got little Kevin got bands. You got yeah, Kevin been on here. You got a uh, you got a little little Doe. You know from Four Dudes, a little AK, little uh, what's uh what's my little Montana Double O Seven. You know you got you know a few of them young cats. You still got Ty Harris out here doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Man, you, we got, you know, the Jason Leary cat, you know, we got some, yeah. you know, the, the the Trey Haggerty cat, you know, we got some people motion, but what I think is going on, like, and I seen them boys do it, they just got to come play team ball with each other, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. need to, you know, lock in with each other a little bit, so, you know, I like what, what little Kevin got Benz did with him, Trap, and Big X, they, they look good. Look you know real good. It look, you know, it just, it, it just look, we, did, we just need more of that. More of it, yeah. yeah. you know, we need more because we got some action you know what i'm saying uh you know we got some action i've just been looking at them but i know what you're saying though it's it's still like it it, it, it nobody ain't you know no it ain't it ain't just nobody ain't sticking out popping you know like it ain't getting no eye factor you know no no wow like everything is just like you know it's good but it can be better type shit you know yeah what I'm i want to like, see it you know when you think of memphis when you think of Atlanta, I, and, and I'm, like I said, in Houston, some of the stuff I seen down there, man, when I was down there, like, and they all different. You always say that you like that, that you know, we ain't that, and that ain't right, us. Right. But at the end of the day, just looking at it from the outside looking in, it's like we, man, we just need listen. That's on me, the yellow beezies, the 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 outside. We need more of those too, bro. Yeah, we need some records. You know, yeah. like we need more than just one artists to just be having some action we need three four five six boys bumping at one time and that was the difference between when we had the definition djs and we had a a a a, a, a culture and we had a movement than what we have now like it ain't never been no movement but the boogie movement why because it was you know it was it was one two three four five six yeah six seven different artists banging at the same time it wasn't just no one song that was jumping you had six seven eight different dallas cats that was buzzing at the same time so when you 
fast forward now, it just be one person. You have Yella. Yeah, Mo had one song. Like nobody, everybody song wasn't jumping at one time. Right now, you just got X. I don't even. Then you got you know guys give you know big homie. I fuck with him. We got one coming. You got him. Mm-hmm. We got a you know we got a couple. You know he you know but they ain't getting played on the radio back to back to back on each other in the clubs back to back. Like it ain't getting that kind of support. You know it's getting. You know, probably doing some numbers and this and that, but it ain't getting that. That str- I just did. I done been doing some shows. I ain't heard no big X to plug. Really? Nah, I didn't hear no 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 big homie in the club. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I mean, I don't know. You know, yeah, I don't and know. It's strange. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's strange, but, but the, it, you know, but these are the cats who got the motion. But I'm not. I don't hear them. I ain't hearing them DJs rocking them boy. Not when where I just came. Where the place I came from, and we had some. You know, pack shit. You know, me, yeah. me and Tuck versus was out of sight type shit. You yeah. know, like nah, they didn't play them boys. Wow, and and, and you know, I, I like to see y'all do. As far as those new up and coming artists, is like the Big X to plugs. Or do you think you guys are? Do you know? Do you know Big X? So I don't know. Listen, all them young, all the young boys fuck with me. Nah, I, we doing tracks. I from 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 little AK, look CJ Casino. I like I I reach out. They be like, whatever you need, OG. We just like it. Just I be you know I fall off and shit. I won't call back and text, but <laughs> they all don't go with me. Look, nah, we got so you know me and Big X. I just never met them, but I fuck with the homie yeah, style. Yeah, you know, I, but I, I, I yeah, live with Big X. He dope, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah we he need to come out. Let me. We got. Like, I got like all of them go be. Nah, we got some shit. You th- you ever see uh, a, a a song or a time where like when you and DeRoe did y'all so, y'all thing and stuff? You, do you see us coming together with a, a, another Dallas anthem anytime soon? Something big with the new guy? I mean, that's on them. You know, the, you know, that's just like you know. I, I mean, it can happen. You know, it can happen. We got enough local goddamn me boys. They got some motion to where you know they we can you know talk our shit now and squall a little spit. You know what I'm talking about? You see the H Town cats doing it all, so yeah, it ain't. We can come. We got you I know enough them. old and young bulls to where we can goddamn me play tag team football. I sure want to see it, man, because it's, so be it's some talent nah, that'll here, be bro. Hard, you know, we, some talent yeah, here, bro. Yeah, that'll be hard. So that, that's just something to, you know, to put on the, put into the atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, we got it. We got to do something, man, because when you think about it, man, it's just too much talent to be play games like that. We got it. We just need to use it, nah, and we got more, more. Uh, when you look at marketing, podcasts, Alex, yeah, we got, you know, uh, uh, bloggers, uh, we got the major stuff. Well, here. I'm gonna I'm see. I'm gonna see one thing. I ain't rap with y'all. See, that's the thing I'm talking about. Like, honestly, I felt all y'all should have been where me and Tuck was at. No, nah, it was, but it was bananas. It was like some 06, 07, But like, that's the type of support that it's supposed to be. Like, nah, Nick, boy, no, nah, we two of them ones from here. Like, nah, it wasn't no reason why. Both of the radio stations didn't do it. They would have did it in, on Houston. It wasn't no reason why now I'm podcast, but so well, player TV. I didn't even know it was just so player TV came through. It was it was uh at the uh man that bitch was a zoo. Uh, it was, I mean, but we had been promoting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I know, yeah. boy. So it was like, dang, that's crazy. We still don't need they we. They, like you saying what we got, but y'all, it, you know it got to come together yeah, like that, else, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta know about it. Next time something like that going down, let me know. I mean, it was just like it was. It was so crazy because it was like it, it, it was shoulder to shoulder type shit. And I'm like, damn man, we got all these, but you don't see now. We ain't see now. Goddamn me, you know, podcasts or more, say nothing about well, it or nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or, or even come and you know come and, and enjoy the night. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, but if if anything like that going on, just shoot me something because I say something. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because that's the whole game with me. Because me and Big Tuck talk too. And if I know, nigga, I say it. You know, you I'm, I'm just the saying side, that's nigga. the type of shit we. That's what we we got all that, but it's still segregated. You know, we got to figure out a way to to to, to get everything moving to where people talk about stuff that's happening, and I think that's what. So just we'll imagine if we would have had all our bloggers talking about two of our Texas Dallas Fort Worth legends doing and seeing the that'd you know hope, that would have be been look you yeah. know they now but we get we'll get all that from the Mace Town niggas you know hey you know talk about you go all the bloggers but now nah, y'all had y'all we got all the bloggers in the Dallas y'all had y'all I, home too legends do it and I, I can't say this like when something going on like like Cho's doing something right now with the with big old freaks or whatever what is it is that what it is mm-hmm. and uh uh and Kiki just dropped that one that he dropped where he brought 
he had I think he had Trap Boy on there too. Them niggas called me, man, say they want to come do a press run and come talk to me because they doing something. That's all they called me. You understand what I'm saying? It's a two-way street. They, they want to know. It's, 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 they want to come through. street, too, though, because I don't know. The dudes who were promoting it should have, you know, they could have. They, that was a part of what I feel like they should have used with they marketing, you know, how to market the show. Hey, man, y'all know we Gee, got all these bloggers out here. Can't nobody, can't nobody call me about you and, and I don't react. So... That if they call, no, nah, they didn't. No, nah, they didn't do. They weren't thinking like that. If they call me they about you, no, nah, they weren't thinking about like Big that. Tuck, they weren't thinking. I'm, I'm they weren't thinking like you know that. What I'm saying? I was, I was just thinking like that because I was like, dang, you know, this, this the type of shit you want the camera to be on. Yeah, this what y'all want the world to see from the city. That's hard, man. You guys been so live though, and 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 not even just outside of the internet. It's it's two worlds really, because you got the internet world. Then you got the real world, as you call it. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And the internet world, and the, these two don't even have to come together, and they still can maintain. Right. Right? So right. that's, I think that's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? And so we just got to figure out a way to make that make, bridge. Yeah, make you know it. what I'm saying? You know, and I, I think it's going to come, especially how I'm finna come. Everybody going to have to follow suit. Now nah, this some big boy. Now nah, this big boy shit. I told you. Now nah, let's go. So it's let's like, explain to me. Let, let everybody know what. Now what's about to happen? What, what's I mean, about we, to go we, down with? You know, I had to eat greedy TV, and you know, it just went 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 everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that old going. It, it went old everywhere. Old. I didn't even, oh, get, that old I didn't even get a chance to get like into the nitty gritty. Like you know, really just show the fun sway how you. Know, it just got wow. You know, but. You know, this go around, so we just had time to sit back and then my guy died. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I uh, really uh, that. Uh, uh, my guy reached out to me. I really did something with him. They 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 had enough respect for me and paid me for an interview, right? So he came to me with a proposition. He was like, hey, man, I got X, Y, and Z going. What you want to do? And he be like, man, I got a truck. You can, it's, it's already date that. You already came through this and that, that, and this. He what like, kind of truck? 18 wheeler 18 wheeler 53 foot you know what I'm that's talking huge about? yeah we got talking about that big boy so AC blow and now look just now the podcast room look just like this now, so you think that you have a studio too yeah, like so music studio? studio so 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 what I'm on is like I'm just it's just gonna be a whole different bunch of way so we just revamping the e-greedy tv podcast you know what I'm saying and but we putting it out on the big stage the world mm. I'm rolling on people blocks you know boy I'm, pull up I'm, anyway. yeah, I'm pulling up on, on on whatever event you know what I'm saying and you can come in AC blow everything now you come in you ain't go it's like when you go to Atlanta and they have them storages and you walk in there and you be like oh this what it is huh mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna That's be like that man. you know what I'm saying but it just we just gonna be pulling up you know what I'm talking about you know and, and you know all the all the interviews from the the celebrities the artists you know it's, it, it's gonna be you know real diverse it ain't just gonna be one little particular thing you know we go we go <laughs> so so this he greedy you know so when are you starting this nah we in motion right now so we we getting everything uh because the, the we getting the graphics done so we can get the truck wrapped oh you it's know. gonna be wrapped and all oh yeah 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 we yeah you so go they out. gonna know you driving down oh, the street they gonna see a big old chief face with them waves bumping <laughs> Them teeth white, <laughs> smiling. You hear me? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, So they go see that, and we, you know, we we give, you know, I'm giving sponsorships to where you know you can put your logo on there, boy. Now nah, it's big room on there. That's it ain't, yeah, it's big room. So how we many go, TVs you gonna have in there? We got, Ooh, we got, we got. Uh, it's let me see. We got. We got a couple of them in there, but it's for work. A it bar? ain't for lounging. It ain't for lounging. It's street. We we working. You know, we got the green screen and everything. You can be in New York on the mm. truck. You dig? Yeah, like a photo studio. Yeah, yeah. We got the whole. It's it's a production. You know what wow. I'm saying? From the the movies, the the podcast to the you know the studio to you know if you want to shoot. Yeah, it's a whole. All I ask is when you get ready to pull it out. Pull in the parking lot for sure, and let us let us let us pretty much just for cross sure. the market that for thing. Sure. And show nah, that's what happening. This how we go play now. Nah, we go y'all go walk out and come in and, and rap a taste with me in my world already. Yeah, you know, so you know, it's just gonna be just it's just the, the ambiance of it is really like 
Nah, we can pull up. So you go, you go see that truck in Houston, Miami, Atlanta. You know, with it. the barcode on there, the world. You know, when you scan the truck, it just go take you to all the variety of things That's that hard. we got going. But you know, we go. You know, I'm trying to probably do like a basement feel. You know, where we go from one end of the room and go. You know, boys go bite that mic if they yeah. want to on set on live. We go back to back. You know, it, it's all kind of way we go play with the rappers. You know, we go do some old live I know verses. You, the way how I know you. It's eat gritty. I know you have to have a kitchen somewhere in there. You know with somebody what? in there cooking. We ain't we uh we ain't gonna have the kitchen, but we gonna have plenty of catering. But you know, <laughs> okay. at the, then at the end of the day, I'm pulling up the restaurant, so you can just pull up at the restaurant with me, and we just go, you know, get out get out the truck and go straight to the restaurant with it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love the way, you know, the, the, that that's what it's all about creating something that ain't, I ain't seen that before. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. I, I love yeah. the, I love the fact of how how you know you can be creative enough to, you know, come up with something. And I, I expect that from you though, cuz you're always coming up with something and trying to, you know, reinvent and come at us with a way to where we can be, you know, really mesmerized by everything yeah. that you got going. So I, I appreciate sure. I appreciate, I appreciate sure. that's now, real. As I've seen that, now nah, this hard. Now nah, this big boy like I be riding down the highway and rolling up on 18 with I'm like, oh, we finna fuck him up. That's gonna like, be no, hard. No, I just, you know, just see that picture right there, just on the side of a big old eighteen wheeler. Big, nah, yeah. you, nah, it ain't, nah. You only see big companies like that, so we acting like big companies. I think that's hard, man. So the music, I want to go into the music a little bit, like. When I remember when all the stuff was going on and everybody had you on every platform at this time, you had a few songs that popped out, like. But then I didn't see the video, the visuals to them like I wanted to. Right. What 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 happened with the music and the visuals? Are there gonna be some more visuals? Cause nigga wanna see you. Man, we finna blitz. We finna blitz. You know, uh, I got I got I got a bowl of joints that I done recorded. So Oh, I uh, heard some of them so things yeah, were we, nice, nah, man. We finna, we, finna, we finna blitz. Like when I tell you we got the whole production company. Nah, we got the the, the red, the camp, we got everything going to go. So, you know, uh, that's also a part of, you know, the move that that, that I got going. It's going to allow me to just, you know, produce. Yeah, yeah. I, I look at different things, man, because I'm an interview guy. Um, I'm, I looked at this deal where Vlad had uh, had basically had issues with, with uh, Tyrese, right? And it was because of some of the questions that he asked Boosie. And I'm bringing this up to say, man, a lot of times on these podcasts, since you're about to get in this world, like how important is it for a person to know how to talk when you get behind his mic? You want to been by the, behind the mic for years. You know what? It's very important. You know, I mean, and, and, and me just talking Chris, because, because I know that I'm finna be, you know, yo, you dive be back into it. it. It's just how you come, though. Like, me and your come. I'm an organic guy, so we have, like. Oh, we have good conversations. If these man. cameras was out, we'll probably be talking we, we the same way. It. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm on. I ain't, I'm not here to be, hey, what you had did when, uh, when had happened? <laughs> you know, who was this? You know, we ain't on that vibe. You know, <laughs> I, we go, we, you know, now if the conversation organically go to somewhere where, you know, oh, I get a little intense then, that's just a part of just like, oh man, that's what it was. But we ain't, I ain't writing down no, you know, hey, uh, let, what? you know, we gonna just go do it. So it be pretty much how to, how to, how the blog is pretty much, they know what they be doing to get what they need. Mm -hmm. So, so I get it. You know, it's a manipulation so. game. You gotta, you know, so, you know, nobody don't want to hear no boring conversation. Yeah, but like, like it's been people that have been pushed to, they said, man, can you do this person? It'd be some weird stuff. Like this person, our, our Kelly daughter, and uh, Aaliyah daughter, you know, right. and I tell them, no, nah, yeah. man, I can't do that, man. Right. I can't do certain things, right. okay? Right. I'm being real with right. you, like, it's certain things I can't do. Right. I just don't know enough about it to do it. <laughs> And that's what I'm gonna be on. I ain't gonna jump. I ain't finna really jump into nothing. I that got two or three really, stories yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. I'm like, what? I'm like, nah. I can't. I can't. It got to be something I can kind of deal with because right. I'm kind of. I'm not as fly enough. To, you know, maybe I'm just too old. I don't know, bro. I can't get with it. Uh, this person's uh, used to be with this camp and they not there no more. But and or, or it be, it was one. Soldier Slim's uh, 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 baby mama. I couldn't get with it, bro. <laughs> bro, I called down there and I talked to the folks, man. Ba Soldier Slim's mama and uh, uh, daughter. Right. 
They said we we don't know. I said, well, I I I've been I'm rocking with them too much to do. I don't know right. how to fit in this, bro. Right, right, right. It's stuff like that. I'm just telling because you feel a big podcast, and I'm just saying it's certain things come at you. Yeah, I won't touch it. That it's you can't. It don't matter how many views it get either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's gonna get some views, but it's certain views I'm not really. Really, interesting yeah right right yeah right. yeah i mean you got you grown you got principles more respect so and you know what you're doing for your brand you know what i'm saying i want to make sure that because some stuff do roll into that like you said earlier where yeah it, it rolled into that because that's who we are and that's what right. we made up of but if it's something just forced in i, I can't get with it bro mm-mm, mm-mm. you said <laughs> mm-mm. Nah, nah Cause, cause that's what, but that's what the majority <laughs> of the people want so i get why a lot of boys do Cause they eat, they hungry. Yeah, they hungry for them. Very- man, man, like, like when you look at the, the, like the lyricists, you know, a lot of people, and I've been having this conversation with a lot of the people that come in here. A lot of people, when they talk about the top five albums, whether they're in East Coast, West Coast, or down South, they may, you can Google it. Best rapper uh, ever done is a Eminem. Mm. No cap, my daughter just left mm-hmm. here. I didn't even know that. Right. I asked her. I said, "You like Eminem?" She Google was like, it. "No." I said, "Why you don't like Eminem?" She said, "If you Google it, say he the best rapper alive." I said, "What?" But who they getting these, bro? I'm just telling you what my. Right. You just seen my daughter, right? Right. I say, "What?" She said, "Yeah." He say he the greatest rapper alive. I say, "What the hell?" And I googled it, and she was right. I'm like, "Damn," no. you know. But I said that to say. A lot of times, man, with us being in the South and the way things are, when I look at top five albums for me, you just mentioned uh, my boy, Mr. Servon, earlier in New Limit. But that time in 93, I'm an old nigga. Right. In 93, in 94, 92, I was listening to Big Mike. I was listening to 8 Ball MJG. I was listening to South Side, uh, South Circle. Right. You know, uh, Teal and them. Right. More than I would listen to anything else. That's crazy, but I'm telling you, I I listened to them other niggas, but I knew where I was at and I knew my lingo. I right. was a young nigga, but when you hear people talk about it now, they don't even get mentioned. You could listen to the Riding Dirty, the whole mm-hmm. album through. Y'all don't know why they don't talk about <laughs> Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fucked it with them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Swive has. I fucked Nobody. with Teal all them boys. But you see what I'm saying on the universal right. level? Any list come out, anything come out, top billboard, all that. That's why I think Pimp was saying that we sell all our rappers go go. Because he knew that he wasn't getting that recognition. Right. But I think we can't, and I say this all the time, there are a lot of rappers I talk to, a lot of people I talk to, we got to speak up, bro. The Bomb B, these great people, bro. So w- when it come to voicing this thing, now that we do have platforms, right. we got to start making sure we make it right for our people, a legacy that's going to be left behind. Facts. What do you think? I agree. You agree? I agree, because if, if we don't talk about it, then who going to talk about it? If we don't let it be, you know, let it be known it happened, then who going to say that it happened? Cause I don't think nobody... Even, you know, they go in and hear these lists. Some of the people from the South, some of our patriarchs, bro. And they just rather not say nothing. Sh- not, rather not, not shake. How they call it? Rock the boat. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and, and, nah, I ain't going to say Eminem the best. No. But. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. But you see what I'm saying, though, right? They're going to say J, Eminem, and, they gonna, and I'm cool with that. But, you know, a lot of us Southerns, we don't agree with it. We let them have their vote. And say, cause they got the big, big media outlets to where when they spread out the news, it get heard worldwide. But we, the Southern folks, we don't feel that way. You ask any Southern folks, they ain't finna be, you know, Jay and Eminem, we gonna be strictly what we be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's that's what I like about old Boosie. He always yeah, pretty courageous about making sure to voice his opinion. Yeah, we ain't on that. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, we ain't on that shit. Southern, we ain't on that shit. We, me, Pac, all day, you can't give me Biggie. Man, me too. Yeah, yeah. It, but you know, you you know somebody big, they go kill you talking about big ain't the one now. But us Southern people, we rocked it with Pac, Snoop. Yeah, I you did. Know, I, I listen to Snoop. Snoop. Them. You know, we, but I'm just saying, we listen to them boys. We weren't really just jamming no Jay-Z and 
Big and them like that Only on the radio Nah and, and only on the radio And you would hear it But it be just Just on the radio Nigga ain't coming through That bitch saying Hail Mary Come with Nah boy <laughs> got Got four twelves With that pock bumping You yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. Did you see He got, the, he got that star On the wall of fame Yeah I'm just Should have been got it yeah, Finally Yeah yeah, yeah. Should have been got it yeah. I couldn't believe They just gave it to him. Like damn He been dead for 20 years Yeah Yeah but 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 you right, we do got to start speaking up and, and letting it be known because if we don't, then they ain't go, you know, they go think what they say is golden. Man, eat greedy, volumes. Yeah. How many you sow? Cali, because they still, you know, You see boy, what I'm boot, saying? How boy, many boot, you sow? Yeah, I did bootleg, this and that, that and this. I couldn't even tell you. How, you ended up with, I think it was Jim Jones on that, yeah, my swag. Yeah, yeah, when he was doing balling. When he was doing balling. Yeah. How did you even put that together? Uh... Man, I had a I, I had an entertainment lawyer, James McMillan. Okay. He from New York. He fuck with everybody. Uh and he lined it up. So He lined it yeah, up. He just lined it up. He was he was he he knew how to get with Jones and we just uh put it together. He felt like it would it'll be one of them ones and you know, that was it. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Talk. so so did you even did y'all get in the studio together? We, nah, he was in New he York. Sent it to nah, yeah, we just wrapped on the phone, sent it to me, and you know, the rest was history, really. Now he been down here a few times. Have you met ever met him? We all met back in the day. Okay, met, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When pretty much close when the song was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when the song was going, yeah. Was, yeah, we met around that time. I ain't seen him when he came down. Recently, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the song was going, yeah, yeah. we crowds back. Yeah, wow, that's hard, yeah, man. Yeah. Like when you look at like the ones that come out in the south and the the the, the ones uh, that stayed kind of underground because the underground king. You think about UGK, that was a really thing. Like where they really right. was pimp was serious about that. Mm -hmm. Now he wouldn't really want to even deal with this other stuff, bro. Right. I'm right. being real, right? And then I think about the greedy volume. That's why I'm saying this. Like certain things, a nigga already know. He don't have to have all this justification from here or there. Like how important it was was it for you to stay close to the streets? I mean, you know what? It was it was really what made me. I didn't have anything. Else. I didn't have no label. I didn't have the radio. I didn't have. You know, sometimes the club DJ didn't play my all I had was the streets. So with them uh, fucking with me, I felt I was obligated to feed them. You know, just stay consistent and feed them. Just feed them. Because they was goddamn me giving me everything that I need. So at the end of the day, it was like uh, that was all I had. So I just went hard for them. Like you you didn't it almost seemed like no rhyme or reason like you was steadily producing putting music out like hit after and I hit was, and I you, was, wasn't, you wasn't you not stopping bro I, I was also living a certain lifestyle too so I was in the streets so you know I, I was I was just living my dream so I wasn't doing nothing but just talking about it you know what I'm saying and it was other people that was in the streets living their dream too so they could relate to living their dream so it just made them just relate to me more because we you know we alike you know they could you know I had they had access to it and then you know it, it, it you know it was just it's, it was a crazy time because now that I think about it like <clears throat> it ain't never been done like that shit mm -mm. was just legendary mm -mm. like you know to be where I am now and be like Man, what I was doing then, like, and to see it ain't even been duplicated. And then just to see how the game look right now, and I'm like, man, them, man, let me been 23 when let these cameras and shit been here when when I was 23, 24, 25. I was just sitting with my guy, and we we went and uh, pulled up a uh, some on YouTube, and it was like an old footage of the DVD that I had. But them was like 06, 05, 07. I'm like, we in 2023, and you looking at a nigga customized, and you know, you know, you know, heavy set, you know, young BG, but a little heavier. But you know, everything was like how a real live successful rapper should look and be like. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, I didn't have a deal. I was still, you know, I'm I'm messing with mainstream artists from the hip. They weren't messing with no anybody. I'm messing with Jim Joneses and Rick Rosses and Yo Gotti's and, you know, I'm doing everything that an artist do when he with a major, got a big old budget, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was really doing it and just to see like, dang, you know, 15, 20 years later, I'm still getting booked. They still spending money with me. How was, how was it with Rick Ross? Like, Lincoln with him. You know, Ross was groovy. He always, uh, 
Man, I'ma tell you, Ross was how I met Ross was through T. And T is a exclusive game. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I know T. I called him Tony's now so, T. So, Where so, we say now? So no a lot of people don't know, but no. I was T. I was the poster boy for that that judge that shit right there, T did that. Mm. Really? Yeah, that that side when I so when in 06, 07, like you at Ross now wasn't dressing like that. You look at now nah, I've been the Velusas. T did all that So you know We just were locked in I used to fly me in here Bring my clothes in I met him through my boy Little uh, Little uh, Little uh, 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 Ray Prince And uh, Lil B You know oh, yeah. yeah He used to do a look You know When them boy were doing the show So they were like Greedy man You know you be on that fly shit Man he'll customize you anything Cause you know Louis and Gucci Was my choice of shoes Or what not So they They didn't sell clothes then So I was like You know let, let me get at him And me and T locked in Nah he's sleeping in the project Eating soul food Nah he New York nigga He just living in LA he's so, He New York nigga You know I got him in the projects In the You know Eating You know <coughs> Chicken And he You know He had to teach on crib You know I go to Atlanta I'm sleeping Nah we We had that type of vibe So when uh Me and him locked in You know I just Were rocking in And he started He used to be telling me like Man, he used to do the stuff for Jazzy Faye and Diddy and them, and they'll be like, man, who is you making this stuff for? And he'll be like, man, I'm making this shit out, this this cafe out of Dallas, man. He, you know, he just be pulling up big bendies, you know, he, he, you know, he's a, he's a stuntastic. He, you know, he out of the plastic, so he seeing a young nigga like me, they, they thought Dallas niggas was country. Mm -hmm, you know, we mm -hmm. didn't have the swag and this and that, and I'm like, say, this what I want, fam. Make me the, the Gucci with the match the shoe. Make this with the Louis. and make this suit to go with it. And he started doing that, so he doing all them boys in Atlanta. You know, and they ask like, who you getting this flavor to, man? Like this cat out of Dallas and Ross got down me. He locked in with Ross. He was like, man, he pulled up one time in a, in a, took Ross some clothes and he was like, man, Ross was like, man, man, that big chief cat, man, he just got that it factor, man, you know, them waves in his head, he be talking about Sachi and how he talk, you know, and you know, the way, he, you know, he dress, you know, so it was already cool. So when they came in, they came to town and this was around the Super Bowl when the Birdman little situation happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, they came in and, and T was like, man, we I got Ross with me. This and I was like, man, I think I had just one gambling. I was like, man, let me. I want to buy a verse. You know what I'm saying? Where you got? What's that? What the nigga talk about? You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, pull up on him. He pulled. I pulled up on him. Oh yeah, we got down. Me broke bread and shit. The rest was history. Every time he seen me, it was just like, nigga, chief, you, you know, come fuck with me. You know, you know everything. It's just always with love. That's hard, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, yeah, but, but you always love. did stuff like that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But you all that's what yeah. that's the part I think that people don't really just you know they they couldn't have understood it unless they seen it, Chief. Right, right. The stuff that you was doing in a time that nobody was doing it. These niggas was not doing nothing. Thanks. Thanks. You were pulling up on niggas. I hear about Chief in the projects. He got a Bentley. He pull up at Big T. Chief had to, he did, ain't no social media out. Niggas getting word to me, bro. I go over there a week later, nigga telling me you were there. Right. Cap I couldn't go to Cap without here. I'm looking for that E Greedy because he going to play it loud in that hole every time I go there. And I'm in there on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and Diamond D. That was him they, and Diamond they, D. They, they, they listen, man. That's just like that young nigga that was. Uh, he was on Big D Mogul talking about shitted on him. He just went crazy. He's like, he shitted on me. I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know that know young nigga. Some young nigga just went crazy. <laughs> but uh, he worked at Diamond. Nah, he sold plenty of big cheap CD. Nah, them boys used to pay. They bills. played. They paid old. bills off for of me. No, no real. No boys was wait. Hey, can I get it a little early? Why? Now they selling people. They be like, you know, and then, you know, I run into people in the streets. I'm like, you can get me 10. They be like, man, I bought it for $20. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, it was that heavy. And just to, just to see, like, and I'm like, man, this shit crazy because if I had what they got back then, this shit would be. It would, it would be ridiculous. And, and it's crazy because I just know it would have been ridiculous, ridiculous because I'm like, Man, he like he boy ten years, fifteen years later, just catching up. You know what I'm Man. saying? And, you know, but 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 and that was with no 
That wasn't no great like big marketing blast. Or n- like, no, that was gr- that was rooted. That's that was, what I'm saying. This thing was coming up. No, that was concrete. Pour that water on that boy. Watch it grow in the middle of that motherfucking dirt. That concrete. Now I, I went from there. I was on them. Nah, man, we want to listen to No Limit and goddamn me cash money. We don't want to hear this to. Hey man, which value you got in there? Give me that value three. Give me that five. Now nah, I got that four. Give me that six. Give now nah, I got that ten. Now nah, it went like that, there. I seen it. That's why I know you ain't playing. I seen it. Yeah, it went I like lived that, it. Yeah, that, that hoe was not playing. Yeah, it and every like time that. I went, Cal, hey, I, cause I ride with Cap. You know, I don't get me wrong. Me and me and Diamond cool, but he didn't stay at the store long enough right. to talk to people right. like that. He in and out. Right, right. He got too much going right. on. Right. Me and Cap. I'm back there like, nigga, boy, that whole jail. I listen to the whole thing right there. Commit the, right, right across from me is my little partner, the, the one I rock with, Hakeem, the one yeah, set of women yeah, club. Yeah. Me and him, that's, that's, that's how I man. started this. That's, that's, that's how, that's how let, let me get in nigga some that's love. That's my man. Like, when he was closing his store down in Big T, I went over there to uh, move his store. He had a store in the back, too, for a little while. Well, the store in the back, he wanted clothes. He didn't have no truck. Right. So I said, yeah, I'll move it for you because I used to hang with him every weekend. He, When I got ready to move, I said, hey, man. I said, man, shoot, I might as well. I said, man, I you. why you didn't give me this store? That's what I asked him. He was like, you don't want this. No, you can't make no money. You know, yeah, you can't make no money back here. I said, okay. Well, I said, give me. Uh, he said, you want to buy those boxes? I bought four boxes of clothes from him, brought it to the house. Mm-hmm. Sold the four. I bought from him for 400 for 4000 mm. Come right back. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, stoves start popping up. That way. I mean, he took me to Vegas to Magic. He the first person who took me to the show to show me, and yeah. I show everybody now, but he was the first one. I, that's why I always go over there. I just was over there about three days ago. Mm-hmm. I always show him love. That's love. No that's matter love. what, he been here. I done told him to come on the show. He that's won't love. come. That's but <laughs> but yeah. he love, he, he, gonna, he rock with my that's kids, my, my wife. My We've been with me ever since I married my wife. I, I go by there, he'll see me and say, Chef, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's why I used to give them a chew sticks and everything. Yeah. In but they all of them but fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I yeah. listen to that whole everything you put out. Cap gonna put it out. I'm gonna hang with them nigga. You had one big nigga that used to work for Reese. us. Reese. Mm-hmm. The big nigga used to work for him. I always holler at him. Yeah, Reese. We and the Reese, me and Reese, we sitting up there chopping it up. And, nah, and that's boy, just how it was, nah, man. Yeah, they kept they 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 kept me in rotation. That's why I got a lot of love. Like, you know, it made me Cool with going to Oak Cliff like that. I'm with Dallas nigga. I but know. The way they showed me love in that boy, it was like, shit, nigga, I'ma stay in this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm walking through that boy like, you know, and it's always been groovy, but you know, just a look. And that's why I fuck with the streets, cause the streets fuck with me. Mm, you know, mm. just like my guy just left, you know, CC. Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, nah, I bro, you know, I, I tried to be the representation for us, cause I'm one of those ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, damn, we had DOC, like, so when I'm jumping, I'm like, man, I gotta be a great representation for my people, you know, like, so So with that being said, it was like, I always took pride in just, shit, showing out for my people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You yeah. all, and, and you did a great job, man. Like I said, I always had a lot, just a lot of respect for you, seeing you perform at different various places, man. Seeing you pull up at the car shows, a lot of the dub nah, car shows, thanks, man. Thanks. I nah, always you, show, you know, I always respected you what know you was doing. You know it's good when the older cats give you your cards, you man. know? And then ain't all the more, man, they ain't even do no tripping, man. We mm-hmm. might smash on the same honey, whatever. You know, man, Guess what they that. gonna do, man? Man, you hard, young nigga. For sure. No, you man say you keep on doing it. So it's like, you know, when I got that 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 co sign me from the city, now the city gave me the confidence. Mm-hmm. How could they told me I was the shit? Yeah, yeah. Now nah, my city told me I was the shit. I didn't you know, I had confidence, but now nah, when I stepped outside my city was like, nigga, you hard, nigga, you now nah, you good. So, yeah. you know, shit, that just <laughs> fed my ego a little bit. Man, you know, the thing I, I always just think back to, man, was like, it was just so many different, like back then you had, to, you, it was tangible. Everything was tangible too. And it was, it, for for me, I loved it better back then. I know you just mentioned the, the streaming and, and if you came in now, but I don't know, man. It's something about the hand to hand, bro. Yeah, that money coming straight to your pocket. Give me change for 10, 20. I, <laughs> <laughs> you got no. Nah, they were saying keep the chain, keep that cheap. You know, they already know I got it. Nah, keep that, bro. I don't even worry about it. They be like shit, nigga. I might lose this one. Nah, so I, I'm with you because I haven't been able to taste the streaming. So it does. It still really doesn't resonate with me like what y'all be talking about. Four thousand streams, nothing. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Four thousand uh, dollars. That's a million streams. 
That's ain't so you gotta do a million streams just to get four thousand <laughs> on the song. That's what I'm hearing, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's God, not easy, shit. man. Give me four hundred people, they gonna give me that dime. <laughs> Imagine if you sold, even back then, imagine if you sold a million hard copies of CDs back oh, in the days. You, you make, make way more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So It's different, they, man. They cone at so the market, no and they done, they done hip, they done really kind of crippled the, the younger game. You know, they only know this. You know, they don't know. See, well, even even on the pocket, that's guerrilla marketing. They don't know about that. No, Major should have been riding around with their artists on different vehicles. That's rap. real marketing. You know, they don't they don't even think about it. They like, hey, just go straight to these streams, go put the in, you know, let's go this way. But, you know, we got to be involved. always still work. It ain't going to never not work. Why, man? Because it's people in the street. They ain't going, the streets ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. They ain't never going to leave. Like, the, and, and they, they just don't really spend their money because nobody ain't bringing them nothing to buy. Wow, man, you you did so cushion the bowl and 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 all counters. I mean, big homie, you know, like you done did a lot, bro. Blocks, everything that you done did, man. What's the one that sticks out to you the most, man? Like when you think about your music, I can't even tell you. I, I, <laughs> you done did a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, I got too many. I it's, I don't forgot. I I only <laughs> remember when they pop up on the playlist. I'm like, damn, I got yeah, I'm that whole jam, but yeah, I got too many. It's I got so, too many, man. What's Even the, on the new joints, I got too many. Like, what's I, the craziest thing? Like somebody walks up to you and like, damn, you know, like what's the craziest thing you you done had somebody to say or when they walk up to you, as far as fans? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> they be tripping, but uh, <laughs> I can't. Even, I mean, it all be kind of throw because you know, uh, I get I get a lot of uh, you look like Big Chief. That way. <laughs> So dark, so you know, people be looking at me. They be like, they be like, man, you look like Big Chief, man. Anybody ever told you you look like Big Chief? <laughs> she say, yeah, yeah. Nah, man. I be like, nah. <laughs> but just when they hear your voice, they should definitely pick it up. Then they still be lost so in the song. I tell them, nah, you know, like, no, nah, I ain't Big Chief. If you don't know, you don't know. But I get that a lot. It a be lot. Kinda, oh, I'm talking. I be funny, man. They be just like, man, you you look like Big Chief. You know, yeah. but but you know all the, all the crazy stuff I can't remember because it done been a lot of little story like you know because I mess with re like it be real deal people like grown you know grown people I be mm. and you know be like damn should I go speak to this nigga he looking all mean and shit you know what I'm saying so you know a lot of them kind of just sit and look and just let me go by you know what I'm saying and then the inbox me. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I saw you at the what you call it. What I that get you? that. Yeah, you know, so that's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, so what, what? How long? Like, I'm gonna be looking for this damn truck to pull nah, up. Nah, that's baby. the big project. That's like, the big right one. now. That's the that's the most. When I leave here, that's where I'm going because we got we all of the studio equipment just uh came the other wow. that we ordered just came now. Nah, we don't go. Now nah, we don't go. Uh, uh. I'm like I'm invite you in the white to the podcast oh, yeah. coming, yeah. you know. We go just rock out my way, you know what I'm saying, and let y'all come and come and smell what we cooking, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. nah, that's the big project. And with that, you know, we also producing the music. Nah, we finna all of it. I'm I'm finna be I'm summertime ready, you know, to go on and, you know, me and the big homie joint gonna be hard. So mm -hmm, I'm finna mm -hmm. get all them boy, all the artists that we talking about, I'm finna have them all come through and come put their work in. Yeah, it's a uh, the song uh, show. It's a guy show, big homie. He been doing a uh, pretty good man. Snoop and all of them been tapping in. I don't know if you heard it now for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. His joint, his joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they rocking out. Yeah, that yeah, boy. Yeah, he hard. having a good time, man. Yeah, that like, boy hard. He's he, been on here a few times and talking about. Yeah, he about getting it. in motion. So you know, we just I just want to align with all the boys that's moving and, mm -hmm. and you know the young ones that's you know shit. Let's rock out. You know it. You know it's still LeBron still was got them in the playoff. Can't yeah. take it away. There's a I lot of here niggas ain't even smelling the play out. I love to hear hear you and him do something together. That'd be hard, man. Like I, it's a, we got a joint. I gave him got one. one. I gave, nah, we just he just waiting on me to tell him to come pull up so he can leave. We just go bring the cameras out and make a movie. Yeah, I sure good, can't man. wait to see it, man. That's what I want to see. For the summer, man, I'm waiting on the summer banger. I know DeRoja's left here. He got something coming out next month. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Everybody yeah, working. Everybody Tom working. working. You know, Tom, I, yeah, they, I, I met Tom for... I had met him a few times, but I seen him. We was in a video. Duro pulled up and ha asked me to pull up, and I came, and he had did a video. Yeah, Tom, cool. He working, you know. You got, you know, you got Lucha and them still doing their job. Lucha, supposed he, to be here he, Yeah, he up. doing his bit. You know, everybody moving and grooving. So, really, we just, just got to connect. 
You know, like for the city, you know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. gotta be certain a certain kind of connection come up come about because we got all the young bulls who who doing their thing and riding their lane, but it ain't no connection with the with the with the with the with the foundation. You know what I'm saying? They just do and I guarantee once we connect, everybody job go become easy. It's go it's go fall in place for everybody because they go look at the city as a whole and be like, Okay, mm-hmm. they get it. You know Man. what I'm saying? Everybody I want to ask you, motion. like, like um, when it's all said and done, when a person look back at you, if they was creating a documentary on on Don Chief, what would you what would you want that to be like? What well, how explain it in a few words? Man, you go, uh, you will be like, you know, perseverance, uh, consistency, you know. Uh, Shit, loyal, you know, loyal to the game, and just uh, you know, authentic, <laughs> you know, authentic. You know, I've been me all the way through and through. You know, either you go rock it or knock it. You know, and for the most part, they rocked it. Mm. You know, and people in the position of power kind of knocked it because I'm not no yeser boy. You know, I'm self made, so they always were scared of something strong. You know, so you know, uh, yeah, yeah, them to kind of. Words you can describe with me in a documentary like longevity, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody who done stood the test of times, you know, and I ain't never had to be on BET to catch or nothing, but I still get the homage of a T.I., a Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? A Ross, a, you know, I still get that homage in. And that's even from my peers. Now, them Houston KC, but they know, they were, now God in them, they felt me. They know, like, you know, I might. Put it like this, girl. Once I, it'll be like if I transition over to the NBA, it'll be like, ah, we know that nigga been a, yeah, he been a legend. You know, he just got here, took him a time. Like, it wouldn't be no surprise to nobody. Like, who is that nigga? They gonna be, oh, that's that boy from, oh, that is him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so at the end of the day, uh, I mean, just pretty much that, you know. Uh, Did you ever think about doing like a label or anything for, for these artists, like in Dallas? So what we, <laughs> But not just in Dallas. Not, I mean, South. you know, and that's the whole Talent, thing. So, you know? so that's what we on right now. So, I mean, I rap. That's just my passion, my love. So I ain't gonna never stop biting the mic. But it's really to be that vessel to for the for the young the younger ones. You know, mm-hmm. to give them a a, mm-hmm. a, a system mm. for success. You know, direction. You know what I'm saying? So that's go probably that's that's always gonna come in the park. Just like me saying, like you know, a lot of these boys ain't. Sign to nobody This and that They still moving From the hip Trying to Trying to make it flip You know what I'm saying So you know Once I do get the line with these boy We go rap a taste Cause you know It's some ways That we can play the world We can get a Hub Right here in Dallas Fort Where we ain't never had now So that's what we creating Right now Hub the world You know It can be a You know That bridge Man When I think about like Man When Birdman came down and that whole situation happened. I'm a big Birdman fan. Like I love the cash money movement, the business, all right. that aspect of it. That kind of was like, dang man, like I sure would have wished I, I could have seen that happen. But did I know you you never did, y'all never had words after that or anything yeah, like we that. Talk, did. Y'all did? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how how was the conversation? I mean, it was it was cool. It was just, you know, uh he was doing him. You know, he, you know, pulling his stunts, talking, popping his shit. You know, it's just like, nah, I ain't your, I ain't no little homie, you know, but you can help change the situation for sure. But I'm not starving. I'm, I'm established. I'm already who I am, who I, you know, I'm, I'm my city, nigga. What, what, what you mean to yours? I mean, it's the mind, yeah, you know what I'm sure, saying? Type sure. time. So when we rapped, you know, his people knew that because the people who he was, he was dealing with was from Dallas. They like, Nah, bro, he ain't now nah, one of them. He wanna, he wanna, uh, he one of them ones, you know, like he good type shit. So, you know, when we talk, like, you know, we we we'll talk, we'll see each other again, Playboy. I'm like, you know, I ain't tripping if you ain't for real, but you got on the radio and said it, so we just go ride with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and basically, were you a fan of like his movement and music? Before I mean, that? I grew up off of yeah. I'm a Juvie fan, you know, big Juvie fan. Yeah, I'm big, you know. So yeah, I've been. Fucking with the movement, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would have been groovy, like mm. a motherfucker, you did. Yeah. But you know, uh, if we could have came up with something, but yeah. I mean, just him 
pulling the the mood that he pulled and how it was orchestrated, you know, Bebe doing what he doing, you know, it was just right timing for me. It was, you know, well, hell, you know, it was what it was needed. Type but, shit. yeah, you still, because you leveraged off of the yeah, fact that I'm even, oh, even mentioning I your name. for three years. <laughs> for three years? Show cash time. money signing parties. Oh man, get it, bro. <laughs> so, we ate. So everywhere you go, y'all finna do a they signing party. They wanted to know <laughs> when is it going down? Oh, it's going down. Come fuck with me. <laughs> They wanted to know, man, man. So start him, man. He didn't say. I used to say, man, do what you do, <laughs> nigga. I am. Man, you know, he he. Uh, it, then the text come out say he coming on boss talk. It's been said. Yeah, yeah. They, the, the text went out. Everybody, I like, damn. I'm, I feel like chief around this. Oh huh, man, oh huh, man. <laughs> I already cash money, he baby. Did. <laughs> he was, uh, you hit that, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, when you did that song, you already knew the 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 whole vibe of what was going on with it. Which one? When you did the, I'm Already Cash Money. I mean, did that was already, an album. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, when you did that, you and Birdman I already had that conversation. Yeah, we had already had that So you knew already you yeah, was rocking yeah, with yeah, yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know, because yeah. the fan, being a fan, I'm yeah. on the outside looking in. I'm like, yeah. damn, you and, know. And, and what he didn't know is that, like, the city riding with me so much, they want me to win so bad that when they heard that, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we finna blow up. No, nigga. I met J Dog. He was crying like nigga. Finally, one of the real niggas get to get in. Damn. Dog, they was like, you man, they J was like, was crying? man. When I friend me, he was like, man, he was happy in the sense of like, nigga, yeah, you like, made it, nigga. I've been a fan, nigga. You hard, nigga. You deserve this type shit. And like, you know, he didn't know who he was talking on. You know, yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. the magnitude. And that's why I be telling baby like, bro, you already know what it is with me in my city. Like, you know, you supposed to let him know like, nah, nigga, he the underdog, but. Nah, his city fuck with him. You know uh, what I'm saying? So Bebe just didn't didn't tell him. I remember that. I yeah, remember like he the underdog. This, but you know he probably like nigga. He ain't he, but he's a he's a big dog. Yeah, he ain't just no yeah, nigga. He that ain't you can no just... underdog. He ain't no little dog. He a big dog. You can't. So yeah. you know when so you... Bebe was really just trying to help. But he, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it came yeah. across kind of. I mean, it, it just didn't come. It, it didn't come. He just did what he did. I'm just saying what I feel like he should have did because yeah. he know me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, now nah, he ain't no little homie, little bro. You can't look home me. You you know, I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he know that. So that's more on me. Like, man, you supposed to tell that nigga, you know, you can't play on my name. Not right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause Birdman, man, like I said, that, that's a that's a big that that's a that's big, big move. That's a big cosign, that's a big, bro. So when like, he did that, the city just now the road called me. Congratulations, bro. No, nah, I didn't even run on into the radio. So the city ran off with it. Oh, chief in the sign of cab money. Woo 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 And uh shit, that was it. Baby called me, we was like, oh put on I like, okay. And nigga, I had a house full of street niggas playing domino. <laughs> we gambling, you know, it was cold, raining, snowing around that time. We was in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh he said that, you know, it just went but bonkers. Dale. So just imagine if we had social media right then. Oh, it would have went crazy. Crazy. It would blew up the internet. Just imagine. So, you know, it just blew up the city. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It blew up the city and uh it was all good. We met at the fourth seat and had about a fifty strong niggas with them. <laughs> and they had a big two of us a number of bodybuilders. And uh, we talk, we rap like, yeah, we know who he is, but you know they they mess with some niggas in the streets of the in the city. So the streets was letting them know like, oh nah, he certified, bro. Yeah, he he won the one. You know, y'all need to fuck with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. Nigga, y'all really need to fuck with him. He wanted the ones type yeah, shit. Yeah, But you know, I managed. You know, it still get talked about to this day. Oh yeah, for sure. That's, so, that's you know, history, it's like, man. You know, that's history. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's it was all good to mine. You know. uh to be honest. Wow. Will we get a, we're going to get a big chief, uh, Don Chief at, uh, something for the summer. You going to drop I'm finna, I'm, for I'm, the I'm, summer. Yeah, I got a free drop, man. I got, I'm, 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 I got some shit. I ain't going to even talk too much because I like to just go on and just push the envelope, but we on go. Yeah, we on go. I can't wait. I, I know y'all need it, and I mean, man, I can't yeah, wait. I'm a, I'm a fan. I love yeah, to, yeah. And you know, I'm gonna push it. I'm yeah, a, yeah. I got news you can use now. I got a whole oh, new man, channel where nah. I talk about the stuff bubble. that's going on. You nah, know, nah, I got nah. a whole nother setup. Listen, man, I salute y'all, man. Y'all, <laughs> y'all moving. See, 
Yeah, you a real hustler. You take your show on the road. Yeah, I'm going this next week. No, that's brutal, man. You know, like y'all moving like that. That's why people fucking with y'all. Like that's what I'm telling you. We finna get. Nah, I'm pulling Get up. Active. H Town, nigga, Atlanta, nigga, yeah. we, man, I'm pulling up. That's crazy, man. That's gonna be, you know. So when you know that, like, like y'all doing that, that's that's what's setting you apart. That's different too, cause what, like I told, I was telling somebody just a few days ago, like, man, when we do what we do, we just we do we walk by faith. We're not walking in fear. So we pull up. Sometimes we when we first start doing, we may not even have a place we're gonna set up. Right. We just do it. And we say God gonna be the one to provide. Mm -hmm. And we done set up in some of the places and we challenged ourselves. Oh, so right? check this out. We gonna let you rent it out too. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll let you rent it out too. If you need That's to dope. get on the road on the podcast, no. Bring your bounty, your shit, your setup. And I will let you know the And you provide the driver. Listen, that's a 18 gonna wheel. The driver. You just have to pay for this boy. Go to pay you for gotta, it. But you go get a whole setup. That's hard, bro. That's oh, big. You just bring your black drop. We gonna get your whole setup. Well, that's yeah, you in Atlanta. Hey, this is what it's gonna call. We gotta take her drive. Do go, but now nah, and you go bring me. It'll that's be hard. like boss talk on the road. That's that's hard. That's big, bro. No, oh, I'm on that type. This is what we on. But you know? with an eighteen wheeler, you can only fit that in certain places. You can't just go everywhere. Well, that. you can you can take it. You just gotta have it pre plo pre proposed. Oh, we go as plan pre plan. I'll go as just hey, this is what we bring. We coming in just provide us with some parking lot. A park with with some plug, but that we got to do our be self efficient. Then we can. But hey, give us some outlets to where we can run our energy and that. Nah, but. Nah, we on the ride. It's we, doable. We letting you, yeah, we letting you rent it out if you want it. Nah, hey man, y'all finna be in LA. Nah, we gonna drive that boy and you have it. You know, and that's even another part of what I'm saying. When you could put your goddamn me logo on the on the trailer that's and big. have it on to be a part of the sponsor world when when it is on the road, everything that's on there getting advertised. Man, mm. that's big. Like I said, that huge, bro. I just like I said, I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. That's gonna be live. All the way live, man. Yeah. Um, man, how can people get a hold of you if they trying uh, to rock out with you? Uh, a Fisher Dunn Chief. Fisher you know Dunn Chief. Chief. Uh, that's pretty much, I'm pretty much just on Instagram, Facebook. I ain't got too much of the other stuff, TikTok or none of that, <laughs> you know, Facebook. So you just do Dunn Chief. Anything with Dunn Chief, or Fisher Dunn Chief is going to pull me up, you know man. what I mean? But just stay tuned. We, we finna unveil. Man, yeah, thank you so much for coming back on nah, the show, nah, bro. I appreciate you. I love the fact it. that every time you come through, man, it's always jewels. It's always a good time, bro. Like, nah. I enjoy the conversation. I enjoy the history. I respect the history and everything that you've done in your in your whole just your whole movement, bro. So you got to just keep that going, man. And anything I can do on this end, you know it's already nah, we done. we go work. We go cross. Like, that's the reason for me telling you, like, hey, man, I know you move around. Nah, bro, I can get, I, I got enough. I got some action in the world hey you want you want to fuck a set up we got a set up for you <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying and hey, the whole e-boss talk the logo can be the word they know hey, always man, see this, it coming it, it, hey d they they come they fuck around on it they we, with this too yeah you know so it's like you know i'm playing i'm just trying to play chess you know and that's 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 extended to all the bloggers all the and bloggers, all the business all people out here you know let's play ball you know like i want y'all to Fuck with me and I'ma fuck with y'all type shit Man. like how it's been going. So this the move that I got going. So I'm just you know extending the invite, the red carpet. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Hey man, listen guys, make sure you like, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you check us out on Patreon and all streaming platforms that we be rocking with, man. Don Chieftain came and blessed us with another great Sachi. epic Sachi, interview. Sachi. Yes. Yeah, sir. Oh, oh, and I oh I forgot we got the I got the liquor, the Sachi juice. No, I you forgot. Yeah, yeah, I got the liquor. Nothing. Not no virgin drink. I got the Sachi juice too. So really? oh for shit show That's little knocky on your ass. It's like <laughs> tastes like tropical punch, but you know, it's a bad mama jamma, you did. Man. But, yeah, yeah, I got the Sachi juice, man. So we got that going too. So, you know, just just you know, stay in the product. That's it, man. The hustle is real, yeah, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And yes. we out.